Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Vigor. Today we're going to be going over some tips for better accuracy, better aim in Vigor. Today we're going to be using the Thompson in this demonstration, just because this is one of the most common guns you can get and you will be using it a lot. So in this video, we're going to go over four main categories to improve your aim. First is sensitivity. Second, we're going to go over stance. Third, we're going to go over fire mode. And fourth, we're going to go over iron sights. So first things first, sensitivity. So sensitivity is how fast you look around. My sensitivity is pretty low in this game. It's usually low in all shooters I do. So if you go over, if you press start and then you go over once with RB and you go down to controls, you can find your look y sensitivity and your look x sensitivity um i tend to keep them the same just because i feel that that's like my uh my preference sometimes you want your your y a little faster sometimes you want your x a little faster it's all up to you and you should definitely mess around with this and see what feels the best just go into the firing range mess around with your sensitivity there's also the aiming sensitivity for third person and the first person aiming sensitivity so definitely mess around with this to see what suits you best if you want to go even further, you can click advanced controls and there's an insane amount of customization for you to get the best aim possible. If you want the most precise aim that's going to suit you the to an absolute T, you can mess around with this. I haven't messed around with it. The, uh, the sensitivity in game, uh, these sliders on this main page are fine enough for me, but if you want to mess with it to a T, if you like your customization, it is there and it is plentiful. So that's an obvious one. You get that all the time when you ask people about aiming and shooters, how to get better aim. But now we're going to go over stuff that's a little less known, uh, especially for newer players. Stance. So there's three stances in this game. There's your standing stance, your crouch stance, and your prone stance. Stance is extremely important because each stance has a different accuracy. So if you see here, let me do it on the tent here so you can actually see the, the white reticle a little better. So you can see the spread. This is the spread of where my bullets are going to go when I shoot, but that's the initial spread. So if I shoot, that spread obviously is going to get a little larger. So that's the stand, standing spread. If I crouch, you can see that spread shrinks very, very significantly. And of course, it's going to get a little higher as I shoot. Now, if I go prone, you can see there is no spread whatsoever. And as I shoot, the spread doesn't increase whatsoever. So prone, you're going to have 100% accuracy. Now, it's very vital to know which stance gives you better accuracy because, say, you're in a gunfight at range and, uh, say, we're shooting, like, uh, this pumpkin boy way back here. So if I go, if I shoot standing up, the odds of me hitting this guy are so unbelievably low. See, I just killed him. They're so unbelievably low that, uh, that you know, it's, it's almost just not a good idea to shoot at all. Now, obviously, that guy would be running around, he would be moving, and you would probably never actually kill him. Now, if we crouch, you can see we have a much better chance of hitting this guy. We can tap fire him a little bit. And just like that, he's dead. And if we go prone, I have to move out here a little bit because you can't really see this guy from prone in there. You're going to have 100% accuracy. And just like that, he's dead. So stance is insanely important to know. I would say it's probably the most important of all of these four points. I might tie it with sensitivity because sensitivity, obviously, if you have, if you have it too high or too low, you're not going to be really uh, getting your shots off. Now, just because you're pro when you're prone, you have 100% accuracy, does that mean you should be going prone every gunfight? No, obviously not. You go prone around a corner or something, knowing that someone's going to come around and you could get one tapped with a shotgun. So you need to be very, very smart with how you play with your stances and how you engage in gunfights with your stances. That's something I can't really teach you. You're just going to have to play and learn that yourself. Up next is fire mode. So you may not know this, but a lot of the guns, most guns, I would say, actually have an alternate fire mode. If you press down on the D-pad, you can switch the fire mode of your weapon. So the Thompson has an auto and a single fire mode. If we go ahead and shoot auto without a uh, recoil reduction on my right thumbstick whatsoever, you can see the recoil is quite intense. Now if we shoot single without any recoil reduction on my right stick whatsoever, You can see the recoil is unbelievably significantly reduced. Knowing when to use which fire mode is very important. So if we go ahead and use auto mode on this guy in the distance, 
You can see the recoil is super shaky. It's going to take us a little bit to kill him, but now he's dead. But if I go ahead and use single fire mode on this guy... Recoil's not as shaky, and just like that, he's dead. You really need to know when to use that single fire mode, and you need to know that it exists, because if you're trying to auto fire someone from, you know, mid range, it's not going to go well for you. You really want to tap fire this guy and do your best to get those shots off on him rather than just trying to spray him down and hope that shots hit. Finally, let's look at iron sights. Iron sights are definitely less important than you might think. I know a lot of people like iron sights because they're uh, they're pretty natural to people. They come natural to people in a lot of games. But in this game, I would definitely say most of the time stick to third person, but it is important to know when to use your iron sights. So at a range, you definitely want to try and use an iron sight to get that little bit of zoom. And uh, if they're standing still, even try to go for a headshot and take them out. Another quick tip about iron sights, if you press left stick in while you're aiming down your iron sights, you can actually hold your breath. It doesn't have to be with just a sniper, it could just be while you're ADSing, and it will help you a ton. Iron sights do sway a lot, but your stance will determine how much sway you actually get. So if I go from standing, a lot of sway, to crouched, it minimizes the sway, but if I go prone, there's actually no sway whatsoever. And uh, you can see my head here. Not sure why that happens. Just a bug in the game. There you go. That's my four main tips for accuracy and vigor. I promise you this will help you win a lot more gunfights if you put the time and effort in. Just know what stance to use, what fire mode to use, and when to use your iron sights in gunfights. It's very, very situational. So make sure you practice. Make sure you know what all of these do. And you'll be golden. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video informed you and helped you to become a better player. And I will see you in the next Vigor video.